Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful start to your day as far as the temperatures are concerned. And some spots are getting a little bit of some sunshine, but the same can't be said across the board. Looking outside towards Providence right now, looking a little gray out there because of some extra clouds that are kind of rolling in from the west. Here's a view out towards Newport. Pretty similar conditions, a little bit brighter, but still the blue skies and the sunshine that we saw about an hour ago, well, that's pretty much done and over with. Here's that look once again back towards Providence, uh, just looking a little kind of gray out there. Overall, what we're expecting, a little bit of a rainy end to the weekend. It's not going to be a total washout. We're going to first see the chance for some scattered showers this afternoon, and then it's really overnight tonight that we're tracking that chance for some heavier rain and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder. Some of that moisture kind of sticks around all the way through till tomorrow morning, early in the day, but after that, it's going to be a really nice week with some more sunshine and some warmer temperatures on the way. Satellite and radar, you can see those clouds continuing to just kind of move across Across our area. They're going to be sticking around. A few rays of sunshine kind of mixed in here or there, but really another mostly cloudy kind of day on the way. If we take a wider look out, what we're dealing with is an approaching low pressure system and a cold front. Meanwhile, we also have a warm front trying to lift up from the south. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to get caught in the middle of these two, a sandwich of moisture just kind of being pinched towards our area. That's what's going to cause those showers and those storms chances uh, later on overnight tonight. So it's a little bit of a complicated situation that we're dealing with for today. Not really our usual sweeping cold front. So it's uh, going to be a little hit or miss for the first half of the day today. Temperatures right now not too bad. 59 for Coventry. Providence looking at 63 degrees, very similar for Newport. Westerly, just slightly warmer, sitting at 64. Narragansett, 60 degrees. So temperature-wise, a beautiful start to our day. So here's a look at that future cast. Again, mostly cloudy for the whole first half of the day today. But as we head into the later half of the afternoon, that's when we start to see the chance for a few quick little showers, mostly in the middle part of the day. It's after about 3, 4 o'clock that we see a better chance for some more heavy rain start to kind of lift up towards our area. That's going to kind of push slowly to the east. And then it's overnight tonight from about 1130 all the way through to 1, 2 a.m. that we see that chance for the really heavy rain and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder. A few showers lingering all the way through till tomorrow morning and then slowly we'll start to clear out and we will be seeing a pretty nice Monday afternoon once everything starts to clear out. So overall today, a little bit cooler. Those temperatures in the 60s closer to the coast, even in the mid to low 70s today. It's just going to be a little bit cooler than what we saw for the past few afternoons. Looking a little bit further to the east, Fall River, 73 degrees. Uh, Dartmouth, Westport, looking at 70 degrees. Mostly cloudy, and again, those showers first in the afternoon, really hit or miss. Not everyone is going to see that activity, and the best chance for rain is really going to be overnight tonight. Now, a few showers do stick around till early tomorrow morning, so if you leave the house kind of early, do keep that in mind. You might want to grab the umbrella or the raincoat, but then for the afternoon, you can uh, leave it in the car if you want, because it's going to be nice after that. We kick off a dry stretch all the way through till about Thursday. Temperatures back up in the low 80s, possibly upper 70s. It's going to be a little bit of a dry and hot stretch all the way through till almost the end of the week. And then Friday, we're tracking another chance for some showers. You can head over to our website. That's WPRI.com. We've got that full seven-day forecast. You can check it out anytime you like. All right. So it looks like at least the first half of the day today is pretty good if people yeah. want to get outside and do stuff. So I know we have day two of PVD Fest mm -hmm. if or you wanted to three, head out yeah. to that. Or day three, yeah, I forgot it started on Friday. First half of the day, you're good to go. It won't be as sunny as yesterday, but still nice. All right, sounds good. But this is sibling rivalry at the Bell